Hello again, you beautiful people, you. Join me today as we go on a quest through Middle Earth in search of the one blaster to rule them all. My name is Lee and we're in the house of Lee. Join me today as we unbox the Scar L and the upgraded option of a grenade launcher. Welcome back guys and as you can see here we've got everything that comes inside the box laid out in front of us so let's have a look and see what we actually get. First up guys I'm going to pick up the main attraction, uh, the Scar L. This one here is a beautiful looking blaster, very nice construction here, very nice piece of equipment, got a little bit of weight to it as well, very nice. Uh, we'll move along, we also have a metal magazine. Uh, we've got your 11.1 volt LiPo with your mini Tamiya style plug, a uh, little gel ball holder as well, uh, some safety eye protection, uh, pretty much the most important part of uh, gel balling, eye pro. Uh, we do have a USB style uh, charger for your battery. We do also have a little adjuster for your uh, sight. Uh, this one actually is to help adjusting the actual um, point it straight down straight through the top there you can adjust your sight up and down so that's cool and then we also do have some instructions here uh, a little bit here uh, you can actually read these ones as well so that's excellent uh, and we also have the stop and think campaign guys so always remember to read through this leaflet uh, very very important Alright now moving on that's everything that comes inside the box with the scar and then we also do have your Optional upgrade accessory if you do choose so to purchase this uh, it's the under the under barrel uh, Gas grenade launcher this thing is absolutely awesome. You've got your shell here loading through the front uh, the actual launcher itself and then you will also have two options um, of mounting hardware. So this actually will go onto the back uh, and, and allow you to actually mount up underneath the blaster of your choice. Guys, we're now gonna quickly assemble the grenade launcher for you. I'll just show you how that one goes together. But for all you PUBG players, you Fortnite players, and you Call of Duty players, this one is gonna be right up your alley excellent looking blaster that you can actually now get your hands on so Now we've assembled the grenade launcher guys onto the Scar L, we'll actually run through a full overview of this blaster. So we'll pick this bad boy up, jeez this thing is uh, nice and heavy. I'll just insert the mag, so we have a full picture of the complete item. Now let's go from tip to butt. Alright, starting off at the very front end guys, we have got an alloy flash hider. Rolling backwards, we do have an alloy front end with your iron side up the top. Upper receiver is an actual alloy as well. Nice and solid construction. Uh, moving backwards, we do have a alloy rear sight also. Down to the back end, polymer construction for your rear buttstock, which also houses your battery internally. Uh, you can actually twist the rear as well with the battery installed and connected. So that is pretty cool. Just flip that one back around. Um, moving down guys with the Scar L, 
lower receiver is also going to be polymer construction, uh, lower handle polymer. Moving down to the magazine, this is an actual metal construction, so metal mag, which is awesome. Uh, when it comes to the charging handle, uh, this is actually steel as well, uh, so that's nice and weighty. Uh, we do have a nylon mag release. Moving down guys, you will see that the uh, selector, the fire selector is ambidextrous and steel, so you can actually if we flip it around, you can see that I'm moving that from the right hand side also, which is awesome. You do have a ambidextrous as well mag release, so you can option uh, that from the left hand side to release that mag and also from the right hand side. So that's pretty cool there. Moving down to the second main attraction other than the SCAR itself, we have the actual launcher. Now the launcher, just gonna pop out that shell there. The shell is completely uh, steel construction as well. Uh, you do load your gels straight through the front there. Uh, when you fill up to the rubber band, uh, they will all stay in there, so it's very cool. Fill straight through the front with your uh, gel blaster gas, and you can see the uh, activator on the base there, which is pretty cool. The actual launcher itself, majority of it, externally wise, is a polymer construction. Uh, moving down to the main body of this is polymer. There are some metal internals, um, very strong construction, and you do also have the option for a second style uh, magwell, uh, as you can see from this one here. But we have the one fitted to it that actually runs on the scar, so looking very nice. Uh, the release for the front end, this one here is a uh, stronger kind of uh, polymer um, and on the opposite side you do have your metal uh, release or attachment points here your two little levers so release both of those two fold them outwards uh, and that will actually release the launcher off the lower Picatinny rail now talking about rails as well I should also mention that all three rails on this uh, blaster, your, both your side ones are metal, along with the whole upper receiver again, is fully metal. Now, going into the internals of this blaster, uh, you can kind of see through the center there that this blaster is running a metal gearbox, which is awesome. It is a new one, uh, very strong. I have actually stress tested this gearbox. It's very, very good in standard form, but, the internals of this blaster are metal gearbox, V2 style, running your 480 motor, running 18 to 1 gears, which are metal construction. The piston is nylon, full metal rack. The cylinder head is nylon, with a nylon nozzle and rubber tip, running an internally metal barrel. Now guys, I must stress with this blaster here, please do not take this one out the front of your house and shoot it. Uh, please keep this one to a field or to your backyard, heavily secluded from any other onlookers. As you do let the uh, grenade off, you will see exactly how much gas and the noise that it produces. It is quite full on. You will see this in an upcoming clip, just how crazy, how loud this thing sounds when you do let off that grenade. So stay tuned for that shortly. Next up guys, we do have our ratings. Uh, so we do go over four different categories and we will give each category a rating out of 10. Now first up guys, we're gonna attack the looks category. Now hashtag for myself, I feel like a bit of a commando holding onto this beast. So it's gonna be a straight up 10 out of 10. I don't know what you guys think, but this thing, yeah, it's pretty well off chop. So 10 out of 10 for myself. Next up guys, in our list of categories, we do have firepower. Now, this blaster here, shooting on an 11.1 LiPo, shooting around that 280 to 300 plus FPS, this thing is an actual beast of a blaster in standard form. We will cross over to the Chrono, and we will sh show you this blaster shooting. We will also show you the grenade launcher being set off as well. So as you can see here guys, as we test the SCAR, it's shooting beautifully through the chrono. So as we take a moment guys to fully digest 
and understand just how crazy this grenade launcher is. Just letting you know that we could not actually shoot this one through the chrono as it is quite full on and there's gels going to be going all through that chrono so it would actually damage it. But this one is definitely off the chain. Uh, definitely your 200 plus FPS. As you're going to see now guys, we're going to head over to the field and we are going to test the SCAR L at the 10 meter mark and at the 20 meter mark. So as you can see here guys, we have set up a few targets at the front end 10 meter mark. Uh, these are for the grenade launcher. We also do have the other target set up at the 20 meter mark as well for the SCAR itself. So I don't know about you guys, but hashtag for myself, this thing is a beast. I said it many times, this thing is a 10 out of 10. As you can see, shooting the SCAR and that grenade launcher, I don't know about you, but paint me up, call me Rambo, send me through the shy in search of those little hobbits, and we're gonna smash them with this beast. Next up on the list, guys, we have modability. With this blaster here, running a V2 set up for its base, sky's the limit. You can change the gearbox out to a billet style gearbox if you really want to. It does have a metal case that is extremely strong, so you don't need to, but you can. You can also change your gear set to different styles of gears, to your 12 to 1s, 13s, 18s, whatever you would like there. It will fit your different style pistons, different cylinder heads, different nozzles. Uh, we do have them all available. Changing your barrels, yeah, sky's the limit. So I will give this blaster a 10 out of 10. Lastly, guys, we have durability. Now, on my recent expedition through Middle Earth, fighting Sauron and his army of orcs, we actually found out that the durability of this blaster is pretty damn good. Smacking those orcs in the face with this metal upper came in handy very much so as I was running away from those uh, evil uh, dwarf kings as well. So yeah, did a great job there. So I am gonna have to rate this one a solid 10 out of 10 again for durability. Any quest uh, takers in the future, get yourself one of these. <laughs> Go and have some fun. <laughs> We're actually at that point where I've been holding this blaster for a little bit too long. I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. So we're actually gonna put this one down here um, and just let it sit there nicely by itself. Such a beautiful looking blaster. Now, in conclusion guys, with the SCAR L and the optional upgraded gren upgrade grenade launcher, <laughs> We are actually going to see this one being used by all you mill simmers and all you LARPers. You guys are going to lap this thing up. Uh, we could also see this one being used by anyone on a CQB field who wants that one goal of being the room clearer for the rest of his team. If you just run in there with one shell loaded into this, you would definitely clear a whole room of people. So it would be excellent for that. But again, mainly for you mill simmers, I think, and also just taking into note guys that this blaster is that mid-range price wise it is not a cheap blaster so it would be more suited to you more experienced kind of gamers there so if you are looking at getting into this sport and you want to be really serious about what you're doing i would recommend this blaster for you as it is shoots beautifully and with that added extra yeah this is an amazing companion on the field so thank you guys for joining me on this quest as we went in search for the one blaster one ring to rule them all one ring to find to rule them all so let me know what you think in the comments below would you use this blaster i know i would so thanks for joining me guys as we reviewed the scar l and the grenade launcher my name is lee we're in the house of lee we're in the morefield mega store now if you're watching this video, you are more than likely watching us on YouTube. So please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, get all the notifications. If you don't like the video, double tap, as we always say, double dislike. Leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys for anything that you'd like to see in the future. Otherwise, guys, we do have Instagram, we do have TikTok, and we also do have Facebook. Now we also do have 17 stores. They're brick and mortar stores, but if you can't get into any of those shops, we do have m4a1gelblaster.com. Everything over $30 is free shipping. So thanks for tuning in guys, as we went on this magical quest. My name has been Lee, and we will see you on the next one.